guys, it's Kayla, and today I am here for you with my uh, current reading list. So these are books that I have purchased in the past few months that I haven't gotten around to reading yet that I really wanted to share with you guys before I start reading them. Um, we're about to get into fall, which is the perfect time to be all cozy up reading a book, so um, I have a feeling I will get through all of these fairly quickly because I'll want to just be like sitting in bed watching it rain and reading a book while drinking tea. You know, fall things. So I'm just going to kind of get into it. I have a stack of like seven or eight books over here that I'm just going to talk to you guys a little bit about. So the first book on my list is um, The Book of Tarot by Danielle Noel. Um, I feel like I mentioned it in a favorites for not this. Um, I feel like I mentioned it in favorites for that some of my favorite things right now are watching tarot readings um, on YouTube. It's like a whole genre that like just has been really cool to watch on YouTube and I've always been very interested in the more mystical and astrological and personality higher than like the earthly world and stuff like that. So I've been getting really into tarot recently and I bought myself this book um, to read on a little bit more. So that is The Book of Tarot by Danielle Noel and all the images in this are of one of her decks, um, the Star Child Tarot, and they're like beautiful. But yeah, so the cards are just like gorgeous, um, so I really want to buy this deck too. Um, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet, so I'm going to read the book first and then probably treat myself to the deck for my birthday if I'm being honest. The next book is um, Astrology, A Guide to Understanding Your Birth Chart by Yasmin Boland. Um, I've always loved astrology and learning about that and I just decided to add another book to my little growing collection. Um, but yeah, just decided to add something to it and this one looked interesting. So I grabbed that. Um, next up we have two fiction books and they're both full of great, great books because you know me, I'm a nerd. Um, the first one is The Virgin's Lover, which is um, about Queen Elizabeth and Robert Dudley, so I can't wait to read that. Um, and then this one is Three Sisters, Three Queens, also by Philippa Gregory. Um, and this one is about um, Catherine of Aragon. Um, yeah, and uh, when she came to England. So, I'm excited to read these. Um, I just haven't had a lot of time for fiction books lately, which is weird because I love reading fiction, but I've been so entrenched in nonfiction books and self-help books lately that I just haven't had time. But I bought these a while ago and I just need to get to them. Alright, next up we have 13 Things Mentally Strong People Don't Do by Amy Morin. Um, I picked this one up at Target over the summer. Haven't gotten around to it yet. Again, I bought a lot of books this summer. So um, this is one of the ones on my list. Um, and it has these 13 things on the back um, to help you master your mental strength. So don't waste time feeling sorry for yourself. Don't give away your power. Don't shy away from change. Don't focus on things you can't control. Don't worry about pleasing everyone. Don't fear taking calculated risks. Don't dwell on the past. Don't make the same mistake over and over. Don't resent other people's success. Don't give up after the first failure. Don't fear alone time, don't feel the world owes you anything, and don't expect immediate results. So I'm excited to read that. Uh, I also have um, You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jen Sincero. Um, I feel like everyone and their mother has read this, except for me. So I bought it, and I will get to it soon. And the last book on my list, which is one I've actually already started, um, is uh, The Viewpoints Book by Anne Bogart and Tina Lando. Um, theater book. This is a method of theater that I've always been very interested in. I learned about it in college, but I wanted to expand my knowledge on it a little bit more. I use it in some of my classes I teach, so I wanted to spend a little more time on some of the theory and material, so I ordered this. Um, and I started reading it already. Haven't gotten very far into it. There's some stuff highlighted in here, so I've gotten a little bit in. Oh, there's some highlights. I've gotten a little bit. You guys can't see that. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm trying to read a lot more theater theory um, these days because I feel like I haven't done a lot of it in this year out of college, and I feel like that's something I should never stop. So I'm going to um, finish this and then order some more books too because I feel like that's important to always keep growing, especially now that I'm not in school anymore. So those are the books that I am currently trying to get through. 
Um, leave a comment below some of the books that you're currently reading or would like to read. Um, let me know what's on your reading list. See if I should, I can see if I should read some of those ones too. Alright, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!